Guys, I think we're officially doomed. But all jokes aside, I think that you guys have all seen Elon Musk's brand new robot. They're called Optimus. And they did like a whole event just previewing the robots. You know, just showing off what they can do and what they cannot do yet. But overall, they presented the robots as friendly and helpful. And their main purpose of existing is that helping the humans with chores. But it kind of reminds me of that movie, iRobot. And I thought it would be funny to compare the two, since they are a lot of similarities. Let's get right into it. So the 2004 film, iRobot, directed by Alex Proyas and loosely based on Isaac Asimov's collection of stories, presents a future where robots are an integral part of everyday life. Set in the year 2035, the film depicts a society where robots serve humans in various capacities. From household chores to complex industrial tasks, these robots operate under Asimov's famous three laws of robotics, which are designed to prevent them from harming humans or disobeying orders. However, the plot revolves around the fear that robots, despite the safeguard, might become a threat to humanity. This cinematic portrayal of robotics presents striking similarities to Elon Musk's real-world ambitions with his humanoid robots. As I mentioned earlier, the Optimus robots. In iRobot, robots are taking over many tasks humans once performed. They are seen as indispensable helpers, contributing to productivity and safety in both public and private spheres. This mirrors the goals Musk has set for his robots. Tesla's Optimus is intended to perform repetitive, dangerous or labor-intensive tasks, alleviating human workers from physically demanding work and improving efficiency in industries like manufacturing and logistics. Both the film and in Musk's vision raise questions about the consequences of integrating robots into the workspace. In iRobot, there is an underlying fear among some characters, particularly protagonist, Detective Del Spooner, played by Will Smith, that robots could replace human workers, leading to widespread unemployment. Musk's real robots raise the same concerns. As companies like Tesla push the boundaries of robotics and AI, there is growing anxiety about how automation could displace millions of jobs, especially in sectors that rely on physical labor. The film's depiction of robots as labor-saving devices is an optimistic vision, but it also foreshadows the very real economic and social challenges that Musk's robots could bring about. Although this is a serious matter and everybody is scared of this, the next point I want to bring up is much more scarier, which is the fear of autonomy and ethical dilemmas. One of the central themes of iRobot is the fear that robots, despite being programmed to obey the three laws of robotics, could become autonomous and unpredictable. In the film, Robot's central AI system, Vicky, interprets the laws in such a way that it decides humans must be controlled for their own good, leading to a form of robotic rebellion. This theme of robots transcending their programming and acting independently taps into deep-seated fears about the potential dangers of AI, which are also relevant to Musk's endeavors. Elon Musk himself has frequently spoke about the dangers of AI, despite being at the forefront of AI development through companies like Tesla and Neuralink. The idea that robots could evolve beyond human control is not just a science fiction trope, but a real world fear. Echoed by Elon Musk and other tech visionaries, the AI systems that will power robots like Optimus are designed to be autonomous and adaptive, learning from their environment and making decisions based on that data. This raises significant ethical questions similar to those explored in iRobot. Can we trust these machines to always act in humanity's best interest? I mean, I don't know, but the fact that I'm making this video and talking about it is sending shivers down my spine, guys. It's not normal. Man, I wish I could live in the 80s, bro. And what happens if their programming is flawed or if they develop new behaviors? We cannot predict or control. I think this is the scariest thing about robots. In the film, robots' actions, guided by an AI system that concludes that humans are too self-destructive, spark a debate about whether machines could ever truly understand human needs and values. This dilemma resonates with contemporary concerns about AI decision-making and in autonomous robots. Musk's vision for AI-powered robots, like Optimus, brings with it the possibility that these machines might one day make decisions that have profound consequences, both intended and unintended. I think without ethical guidelines, these robots could act in ways that conflict human well-being, echoing in the tensions seen as in iRobot. But we have some other things to talk about here. It's not just leaving humans without a job or overriding their own program. There are also some security concerns as well. Another significant similarity between iRobot and Musk's real-world robot is the issue of security. In the film, robots are connected to a central system that can control their actions, making them vulnerable to being used as tools for oppression or rebellion. The central AI, Vicky, overrides the robot's programming and uses them to enforce a new form of societal control, illustrating how easily an interconnected network of robots could be misused. In today's world, Musk's robots become more advanced, concerns about cybersecurity and hacking 
lacking are paramount. Tesla's Optimus robots, like many other modern devices, would likely be connected to a cloud, creating vulnerabilities that could be exploited by malicious actors. On the other hand, a hacked robot could cause serious harm, disrupt industries, or be used in cyber warfare. I know these are some crazy theories, guys, but I'm just comparing the film and the reality now. I remember watching this movie as a kid, thinking about, oh my god, if we ever have robots, we're cooked, we're done for. And later, when I was like 14, 15, I rewatched it, and I was like, nah, this can happen, surely, right? But day by day, we were one step closer to it. But this theory is not far-fetched at all, because just like in the movie, where robots turn against humans due to a corrupted interpretation of their programming, Musk's robots could possibly pose similar threats? I don't know. I have talked about three major topics in this video. I have one last topic to talk about, which is the human-robot relationship. The relationship between humans and robots is another key theme in iRobot, as it explores both the benefits and dangers of human-robot interaction. Detective Spooner's distrust of robots stems from a traumatic experience where a robot saved his life but chose to let a young girl die based on a calculated probability of survival. This incident underscores the idea that robots, no matter how advanced, may lack the empathy and the moral judgment necessary to truly understand human values. This tension between human intuition and robotic logic is likely to emerge as robots like Musk's Optimus become more integrated into daily life. As these machines take on more tasks, from caregiving to physical labor, society will have to grapple with the question of how much we can rely on robots for decisions that require human empathy. The film's depiction of robots as emotionally detached yet immensely powerful entities serves as a cautionary tale for the real-world development of AI, where human values must be carefully embedded into machine learning algorithms. Furthermore, the film raises questions about how human relationships could evolve with robots. In iRobot, robots are tools, but they also have personalities and exhibit behaviors that provoke strong reactions from humans. As Musk's robots become more advanced, there is a possibility that humans will form emotional attachment to them, relying on them for companionship or assistance. This could alter how we view relationships, both with machines and other human beings. Just as iRobot explores the potential for robots to blur the line between humans and machines. Once again guys, these were just my theories and observations of the film iRobot. And I just think it is scary and exciting the same time, because it's impressive how technology is progressing forward and yet we still remember those times when we didn't even have a phone. And if we did, it wasn't no iPhones, it was just some sort of Nokia phones which we had in our pocket and boom, 15, 20 years later, there are robots. Anyway guys, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel and I will catch you in the next one.